Star Trek, the original series, Spock's brain bridged. The Enterprise is a red alert as an alien vessel approaches them. Sulu, Phaser Bank, standing by, sir. Check off range 43,000 and closing. Kirk, what do you read, Mr. Spock? Spock, confrontation and configuration unidentified. Ion propulsion, the high velocity for unique technology. Kirk, any contact, Lieutenant? You're hailing all, all frequencies, sir. All languages have been attempted. No response. Now using standard intercellular symbols. Kirk, keep trying. You're a I, sir. Kirk, member location 10, Mr. Chekhov. Chekhov, I, sir. 38,000 and closing. Kirk, well, Scotty. Scott, it beats me. But ain't she a beauty? Kirk, interesting design. Scott, I've never seen anything like her. I, I am propulsion at that. They could teach us a thing or two. Kirk, life forms, Mr. Spock? Spock, one, humanoid or similar. Low level activity. Life support systems functioning. If interior atmosphere, conventional nitrogen oxygen. Intermittent in to keep a transferial beam emanating the air of the humanoid life form. Kirk, directing at what? Kirk, directing at the bridge of the Enterprise, Captain. Kirk, security guard. You're a security guard, a bridge. One man materializes and smiles at them. Kirk. Kirk, I am Captain James Kirk. This is the Star Trek Enterprise. So the crew cars rush in. She presses a button. A wristband. The power goes off. Everyone collapses. The same happens to the crew all over the ship. One walks over to Spock and puts her hand on his head. Later, after the opening titles, power goes back on. Everyone wakes up again. Sulu, what happened? Kirk Helmer, it's status, Mr. Sulu. Sulu, no change from the last reading, sir. Kirk, condition reports from all deaths, Lieutenant. You are I, sir. Kirk, where's Spock? Where's Spock? McCoy, Jim, Jim. Kirk, yes, what is it? McCoy's office. McCoy, you better come down to sick bay. Bridge, McCoy, right now. Kirk, all right, on my way. You're on a deck five personal personnel, no damage. Sick bay. Spock is lying in a bio bed with a bandage round his head. Life support equipment over his torso. Okay, now, Chapel functioning. Well, okay, thank you. Thinking. Kirk, Spock, what happened? Chapel, I found him on the table. Kirk, like this? McCoy, no, not like this. Kirk, what happened? McCoy, I don't know. Kirk, you got him on complete life support. Was he dead? McCoy, he was worse than dead. Kirk, what do you mean? McCoy, Jim. Kirk, come on, Bones, what's the mystery? McCoy, his brain is gone. Kirk, he's what? McCoy, it's been removed surgically. Kirk, how could he survive? McCoy, he's the greatest technological job I've ever seen. Every nerve ending in the brain must have been neatly sealed. Nothing ripped, nothing torn, no bleeding. It's a medical miracle. Kirk, if his brain is missing, then Spock is dying. McCoy, no, the incredible Vulcan physique hang on until this life support cycle took over. His body lives in automatic... Autonomic functions continue. There's no mind, Kirk. That girl, Scott, I. McCoy, that what girl? Kirk, from the ship, she took it. I don't know why or where. You must have taken it. Bones, how long can you keep him functioning? McCoy, I can't give you any guarantee. Kirk, that's not good enough, Doctor. McCoy, if it happened to any of us, I'm def- I'll am see you definitely. But Vulcan physiology limits what I can do. Kirk, brain, more dependent than... That tremendous bane for life support. Kirk's body is more dependent on that light, tremendous brain for life support. Kirk, then we take him with us. McCoy, take him. Take him there. Kirk is in search of his brain, Doctor. What you say, the moment we find it, you must restore it to his body or we lose him. McCoy, Jim, where are you going to look? In this whole galaxy, where are you going to look for Spock's brain? How are we going to find it? Kirk, I'll find it. McCoy, even if you do, I can't restore it. I don't have the, med- the medical have the medical technique. Kirk, if it's taken out, it can be put back in. McCoy, but I don't know how. Kirk, the thief that took it has the advantage of the knowledge. I have forced her out, it out of her. McCoy, if you don't find it in 24 hours, you better forget the whole thing, Jim. Kirk, you and Scotty have spot ready. Bridge, Sulu, 
I've got it. I've got it again. An iron, iron trail matching the one we first saw her. When we first saw her, Kurt, where does the trail lead to? Check off Sifton, Segmenia, Decrecorus. Kurt, look, look on, Mister Sulu. Maximum speed. Sulu, walk six. Kirk, no question about the trail. Sulu, no mistake, sir. Catch the log, start date 5431.4. For 15 hours and 20 minutes, we've been following the Ion Trail spaceship that has sparked praying. Time left for us, 8 hours and 40 minutes. Bridge, Sulu, Captain, I lost the trail. Kirk, all scanners, a stream sweep. Your eyes, sir. Kirk, well, check of nothing, sir. Your no signal at all, Captain. Sulu, it's gone, sir. A sudden de- Direction shift. Kurt, we lost the trail, but you went into the, that system. Because the check off put a cinematic of Stigma Diracus on the screen. Check off, I, Captain. Kurt, read out, Mr. Chekhov. Check off, Sun, spirit, spectral type, Gamma 9, 9 planets, 3 of them, Class M, possessing serpent life, according to reports of long range scanning. Kurt, she was breathing our air. You must have gone to one of them. Show us the three Class M planets, Mr. Chekhov. Chekhov gets up and goes to the view screen. Point out the relevant items. Chekhov, the one on the left, number three, rates letter B on an industrial scale. Kurt, Earth equivalent approximately 1485. Chekhov, yes, sir. Second planet, Class M. Number four, rates letter G. Kurt, the year 2030. So, but that ship, Captain. Even as many years ahead of us, or the most incredible design in fluke in history, Kurt, third class M planet, Mr. Chekhov. Chekhov, number six, no sign of industrial development. At last, report the delays to age, serpent life, painful, but on the most primitive level. Kurt, now as I understand it, Mr. Chekhov, a three class M planets. Chekhov, yes, sir. Kurt, but no one, no one, not one of them, which is capable of launching them instead of flight. Turk of no, sir. Kirk, yet one of them accomplished it. Chekhov, yes, sir. Kirk, thank you, Mr. Chekhov. You are captain. I'm picking up high energy generation on planet six. Kirk, that's a primitive class eighty planet. Chekhov, yes, sir. Kirk, the source of it? You are, it, may, it could be natural volcanic activity, steam, a number of causes, but it's very regular. Kirk, what do you trace readings show, Mr. Chekhov? Chekhov, no sign of organised organisation. Primitive hominoids picking up at regular intervals. Kirk, with regular potations? Generated energy? Chekhov, I can't explain it, sir. Kirk, I can't afford to progress wrong. I've got to choose the right plate, get it there, find the brain, 8 hours and 35 minutes. Kirk, recommendations, Mr. Spot. Chekhov. Chekhov, Sigma Secus 3 is closest, heaviest population. So look at technology rating of only 3. It can't possibly have had that ship we saw, have put that ship we saw into space. Chekhov, none of these planets could. So look, I say planet 4, Captain. This planet 4 is ahead of 3 technology. Kirk, but advanced iron propulsion is beyond even our capabilities. capabilities. It may be a miracle if they had developed it. Yeah, what would they want with his brain? What would they want with Mr. Spock's brain? What use of it? Kirk, yes, Yura. Why do, why do they want it? Kirk, yes, why would they want it? Eight hours and thirty-four minutes. Planet six is glaciated, yes, eh? Check off several hundred years at least. Only tropical zone is always free, Kirk. But the energy regular? Is it is there? It is real? Yura, yes, sir. Doesn't make sense, but it's there. Kirk. I just want to room stand by. I'm going to take a land party down to planet six, Euro. Aye, aye, sir. Sulu, a hunch, Captain. Kirk, a hunch, Mr. Sulu. Chekhov, what have you guessed wrong, Captain? Kirk, have I guessed wrong? Mr. Spock is dead. What would I? Chekhov, Captain's log, start eight, three, four, three, five, one point five. Beaming down a primitive glaciated planet in a stigma dracarus star system. Time left to us to find Spock's brain, 8 hours and 25, nine, 29 minutes, planet surface. Kirk, Scott, Chekhov and two security guards beam to the rocky planet. Kirk, suit temperatures to 72. Life, false form readings, Mr. Scott gets a look. Mr. Scott, Scott, shout scattered. 
Worthy of space, humanoid, all right. On large scale, Kurt, watch out. We know they're developed as primitive. Got I. Kurt, read out, Mr. Chekhov. Chekhov, no structures, Captain. No mechanized objects that I can read. No surface to consumption or generation of energy. Atlas is perfectly all right, of course. Temperature, huge maximum, huge maximum 40. Livable. Kirk, you have a fixed skin, Scott. Captain, there's someone, something out there on the rocks, five of them. Humanoid, large, Kirk, faces on stun. One new conscious, a group of beaded, same clad males with clubs move carefully towards the star. Sleep hearty. Kirk, fire only my signal, flank out to the primitives, suddenly leap out from behind the rocks, throwing stones and their clubs. Kirk fires and stuns the leader. The rest run away, Kirk. We mean you no harm. We're not your enemies. We're your friends. We only wish to talk to you. Well, you're not the, uh, you are not the others? Kirk, no. We come from a far place. We are men. Well, men? Kirk, like yourself. Well, you're small like the others. Kirk, who are the others? Morg, give us a pain and delight. Kirk, do they live with you? Morg, no, they come. They give pain and delight. Kirk, do they come from the sky? Morg, they are here. You will see that others will come for you. They will come for all all like us. Kirk, do you kn- do they come for women as well? More women? Kirk, the female of your kind. Morg, your words say nothing. Kirk, don't you have a mate? Morg, mate? Scott, a companion. Kirk, will you take us where we can find the others? Morg, afraid. No one wants to find them. Kirk, we do. We want to find them. Take us up there. We'll let you go. Check off, Captain. 500 metres in that direction is a fountain under the surface. Huge one. Registers all over the place. To buildings. Check off, yes, immensely old. Completely buried. But they, they were there here once. Kirk, someone down here, somewhere down here is where the others live. Scotty, see if you can find a way down. Scott, I, sir. Morg, no, no. Do not go there. No, no. Kirk, it's all right. He struggles briefly. Morg escapes and run off. runs off. Kirk, it's all right. Let him go. Check off, what? Could the others do to cause such terror? Kirk, uh, what, uh, what, what was it he said? But pain and delight. Check of a peculiar mixture. Kirk, a dead and buried city on a planet. Glacial age. Check of a male humanoid who doesn't know the meaning of the word female. Scott, the captain. For Scott, cave entrance. Scott, over here, sir. There's food in there and a whole pit of other stuff. A storehouse of mas- muscular friends. For our muscular friends. And step inside carefully. Cave, Kirk. I think, don't think so, Scotty. There's a pair of photoelectric cells creating a visible trip while across the front of the supplies. Kirk, metal falls tempered. Our eight pitch friends couldn't make these. What do you think, Scott? It could be a warning device to keep those creatures away. The food, Kirk. The food could be your lure set by the others to bring them in here. Scott, in that case, the beam will be a signal. Kirk, and this cave is a trap. Check off. If, this, if, it, if it will trap the creatures, the others, Captain, will it trap us too? Kirk, exactly. Cave entrance. Kirk, to Enterprise Euro, Euro, Enterprise Euro here. Kirk, have Dr. McCoy been down immediately? Your yeah, eyes, sir. Kirk, Mr. Chekhov, you and the security men team will remain here at this entrance. We'll be constant contact with you. Check off, I, sir. McCoy and Scott, Spock being down. Spock is a brown overall device in his head. McCoy's told him remote control unit with coloured buttons. He presses one, Spock turns, left to face us. Kirk, a white bone, bring him along, Scott. Keep him close to the right. Okay, ready? Kirk, 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 ready? As steps across the beam and a metal shutter slam down, sealing the cave entrance. This elevator room drops rapidly. McCoy, call Chekhov and tell him to send my stomach down. Cave entrance, Chekhov. It might be a long wait. It may as well be comfortable. He uses his phaser to heat a rock. They warm in their hands in the glow. Cave, Chekhov. Kurt, Kurt, cave, Kurt. Phasers on stand. Got Captain, that power we picked up above. We're getting closer. Kirk, a lot of it. Scott, enough to push the planet out of orbit. Kirk, what source, Scott? Either, either a nuclear pole of 100 miles across, or Kirk, a what? Iron, Scott, iron power. Kirk, 
Kirk is slowing down. The door opens. There's a woman in yellow in the corner. She reaches her wristband. Then Kirk stuns her first. Takes her wristband. Corder, Kirk, is she right, McCoy? I have her talking in a minute. Lama, you do not belong here. You are not Borg, Kirk. Who's in charge? I wish to speak to him. Lama, who? What is it for him? Kirk, what have you done to Mrs. Bo- with Spock's brain? Where have you taken it? Lama, you're not Borg or Omog. I know nothing about a brain. Kirk, you're lying. McCoy, she's not, Jim. No change in reading. She doesn't know. Scott, to Kirk, Scott, see what you can pick up on your communicator. Scott, I, Kirk, we don't want to hurt you. What is this place? Lama, this place is here. Kirk, who are you? I am Lama. Lama, I am Lama. I am Imog. You're not Imog? You're not Moog. What are you? McCoy, Jim, it's no use. They've got, they've got nothing out of this, that one. Hers is the mind of a child, Scott, Captain. Got something? I don't quite... Can't get a fix on it. Lama go, tries to get away. McCoy goes there. Well, fascinating. Activity without end, but no violation. Kirk, Spock, is that you? Spock. Captain. Captain Kirk. Kirk, yes, Spock. Yes, Spock. Captain. It's a definite pleasurable experience connected with hearing your, of your voice. McCoy, where are you, Spock? Spock, is that you, Dr. McCoy? And you, are you, are you with, are you with the captain? Coy, where else would I be? Scott, Mr. Spock, where are you? Scott, engineer Scott, Scott as well, unfortunately. I do not know where I am. Kurt, we've got to get you, Spock. Won't be long, Spock. A practical idea, Captain. It seems unlikely I should, should be able to get a, a, you, to you. Kurt, quickly. They've head off down the corridor. Scott, quadrillion Scott, Spock's body. Around the corner comes a woman in purple. Two mug uniforms. Kurt, there she is. That's the one. What have you done with Spock's brain? The woman in purple uses a wristband. Not well, the men. Only Spock is left standing. Captain Long, start eight five four three one point six. Many have taken making contact with Spock's brain. Don McCoy, engineer Scott, and myself are taken prisoner inside a highly complex civilization, hundreds of meters below the surface. Planet Sigma Dracarus Seven. Primitive creatures we encounter. But warned us about the delivers of pain and delight, and frightening conquests being captured by them. Cancel with Luna and the other women are present, occasionally giving pieces of food to the men standing around. One lamp penny still unconscious and sitting on stalls. Low women in purple comes in and four women sit at the nail shaped table. She presses the green button twice, they wake up. All men have belts of green buckles on them. Carl, what are you? Where are you why are you here? You have something to you have something to speak, Kirk. What are you done with Spock's brain? Carla, we do not know, Spock. Kirk, this is Spock. You saw him in a ship. You have his brain. I must be restored immediately. What are you done with it? Kara, yes, brain. Uh, you spoke to Lama, most of brain. But we do not understand, Kirk. I don't know what know about Lama. But you were, you were in the Enterprise. I saw you. Kara, I do not know what you, these things you speak of, Kirk. You came to my ship. Car, we know only here below and here above. There's a way. We are not Morg. You're a stranger, Kirk. I saw you on my ship, McCoy. Jim, she does not remember or even really know. This association could be complete. Doesn't it seem possible? She could have performed surgery in Spock. Kirk, no, it doesn't. Car, you hurt her. Uh, you're not permitted again to hurt anyone. Kirk, sorry, you didn't know want to hurt anybody. Kirk, if you wish to return to your home, you may go. Kirk, no, we stay here and learn about you and tell you of us. McCoy, yes, for instance, above is cast and hold. The blow is warm. The air is fresh. Scott, I, there's no sun, but there's light. Kirk, I wish to talk talk to those in charge. Kirk, in charge? Kirk, yes, the organizers, the managers, the leader of the people. Kara, I am the leader. There is no other. Scott, that's impossible. Who built the machines? McCoy. Who are the doctors? Who operates? Kirk, who controls this complex? Car, controller, controller? Kirk, yes, the controller. Kirk, who controls? I'd like to meet to see him. Car, no, he's not permitted. Clever controller. Alone apart, we serve controller. No, he's permitted near. Kirk, we intend no harm. Car, you come to destroy us, Kirk. No, no, I promise you. Okay, we must. We want to talk to someone about Spock's brain, that's all. 
Can a brain a brain? What's a brain? Its control is not. Of course, yes, it's the way it is. A human brain controls of individual functions. Kirk, Bones, Scotty, Scott's brain, Scott's brain controls. Of course, it's not possible. Kirk, great leader. Great leader, he kneels in front of Clara. We come from a far piece, place to learn for your, for, from you, controller. Clara, you lie, you know me. You said that you came to take back the controller. Kirk, he's our, he's our, he's our friend. You must take, must take us to him. We beg you soon. It'll be too late. Lara, do we do not take them, Kara? Do not take them to the controller. Kara, they will be prevented. Kara, you must take us. A single press of green button. They collapse the wave raving agony. Kara, I must learn what to do. To Lara, come on to me. You will keep them here. God, yes, mistress. The women, sorry, he might leave. Ship's log, Lieutenant Luke Lusulu. Recording, I'm holding the Enterprise in orbit and the planet, about the planet Sigma Sedacris 7. Captain's hunch that Spock's brain is on the planet appears to be correct. Inside, Chekhov remains on the surface to act as liaison between the Captain and the Enterprise. Kirk, Council Room. Kirk, I never felt anything like that. Every nerve of my body was on fire, McCoy. I don't believe the human organism could take such pain, Scott. They were on, on a stay for a while. Must be magnetic lock for some kind. Kirk, no wonder the walls are so brilliant and terrified. Wall blocks the doorway. Kirk, now in this, how is this place we kept functioning? The primitive minds we met. And the equipment laid out on a table. I don't know all stopped Kirk getting into it. Scott, these women never could never have set up anything as complex as this. Has to be why? Well, it takes engineering genius. There's no son engineering genius as any of these women. Kurt, they were smart enough to invent these training devices. What a way to maintain control of a man, Scott, pain and light. He said above, McCoy, I'm sure you noticed the light aspect of this place. Kurt, yes, I certainly did notice its delightful aspects. But they're not too... But, but, but not... But that, too, is strictly under the command of woman, Scott. How does Spock's brain fit in this, Kirk? With a communicator? We might be able to find out. This fellow is keeping us from our property. Scott, I see there's a way to correct... correct. Isn't there, Scott, isn't there a way to correct the situation? Kirk, I certainly think that science might provide an answer. Okay, it does, Captain. Kirk, agree, Doctor. Kirk hits a mole on my... T- on the, hits them all by the table as Scott McCoy take on take on the one by the door isn't easy but find the captain triumphs Kirk science will triumph come on Scotty Bones can give them something to keep them all out for a while do we indicator Spot Spot come on Spot but you you were were on this, you were on this frequency spot well, yes, Captain. Well, yes, Captain, I'm still here. Have you turned to Enterprise, Kurt? No. Might be able to locate you. I'll give you, give us an idea of what we're using, what, what you were using you for. Is it medical? Spot, I'm not certain. I seem to have a body, have a body that stretches into infinity. Scott, body? Where? What have you, why? What have you done? Spot, what am I? McCoy, your disembodied brain. Well, fascinating. We might, we'll explain much, Doctor. A million murderer Werner is hard at work at apparently breathing, apparently pumping blood, applying, maintaining a normal psychological temperature. Kurt Spot, we don't have that time for that. Kurt Spot, why are you endangering your lives coming here? Kirk, we came to put you back. Where are you? Spot, back where? Kurt, back into your body. We thought you brought you along with us. But thoughtful, Captain, but practically, possibly impractical. Well, you might trust the doctor to move us by in terms of lunch and boil. I don't believe his knowledge is for a brain. Quite thank you, McSpot. No denigration intended, Doctor McCoy. The skill does not yet exist in the galaxy. Kirk, the skill to move it exists right where we are. Destroying it might also be possible as well. We've got to get to you as quickly as we can. Spock, no generation. 
Doc, Captain, I appreciate the risk that you're taking on my behalf, but you must insist that you're worthwhile. It, only if they could reasonable chance of success. Let me ask you, how much time has elapsed since, Kurt? 18 hours and 12 minutes. But, Dr. McCoy, you must have told you that 24 hours the maximum of what he can take, McCoy had told him. Cut the leads us exactly five hours and forty eight minutes. Bok, Bok, does it seem all too brief a time to develop such skills, does it? Kirk, yes, it's very brief. That's why we must get you to you immediately. Beam us a signal to be home on and home in you on you. Spot acknowledged, Scott Bot got it. Kirk Bones, Bones the body stands up. He walk out the room, the corridor. Kirk, oh, Spot, one question, Spot, yes, Captain? Kirk, we've not got pain giving devices attached to us. Can you tell us how to get them off? Kirk, I shall give it top priority. They walk along, Spot, Captain. I have answers for you. It seems your pain brands are money control. The red button on the bracelet releases them. I know that does not make much sense. Kirk, oh, yes, it does, Spot. Further along, keep concentrating, Spot, keep concentrating, Spot, Scott, must be there in there, Captain. Control room, car is there, and back to the door. She hears them enter and gives them no pain. McCoy, Jim, but, but no pain. Kirk manages to get to the combat box. Uh, McCoy dropped and gets Kirk's body to walk over to Kara. Kara, no, go away. Scott, Mark holds her wrists. And he finally presses the red button. The belts will fly off. Kara, we will die. You must not take the controller away. We will all die. Control is young and powerful, perfect. But, how oh, very flattering, Kara. You'll give life to my people for 10,000 years to come. Kirk, you'll find another controller. Kara, the other one is finished. There's no one other than this. We're not yet ready for 10,000 years, Kirk. Mark, your black box... Spock, Kirk, Spock, you're in a black box, tied in red rays of a complex, into a complex computer panel. Spock, fascinating. Spock, Kirk, so you're breathing, pumping blood, maintaining temperature. Is it possible you're circulating air, running heating plants, purifying water? Spock, indeed, Captain. It is unquestionably part of what I'm doing. Kara, you must stay, you must stay, Kirk. You will not stay. He makes Spock release her, grabs her himself, himself, taking off her bracelet. Now you look at this brain. You'll put it back. How do you do it? Kara, I do not know. The clay, she couldn't, Jim. The mind's functioning a very simple level. Mental facilities are seen to be almost effort. Afro- Tro- troped because of no use. Kurt, she has, she was an enterprise. She must have done it. How did you, how did you do it? Kara, it was old knowledge. Kirk, how, how do you get that old knowledge? Kara, I put upon my head the teacher. Kirk, what, what is a teacher? Kara, the great teacher of, the, of the all knowledge and knowledge. The transparent helmet. It looked like a whole lot of syringes sticking from it. Well, very amazing, Captain. Refers to the tape. Door house of knowledge that the builders of this place. I scan it. A most impressive store. Kirk, how does it work? Show us. Kara cannot. Kirk, you must tell us. Kara cannot. Only by command the ancients may I understand. Kirk, how does it work? Show us. We'll protect you. Well, it's a device of the feeding circuits. It lead into the mind of Princess Leader. The use is strictly permitted by the dioders. Kirk forces out her into the time it. Kara, no, the knowledge is forbidden. I must not, I must not know the secret. I'll be punished to control the panel. Goes on and she goes quiet. Kirk, Kara, confident, assured. Gentlemen, the controller's explanation, functioning on the teacher, is essentially correct. However, he's going to give you no credit to me. Avoid the means whereby the knowledge is used. Without me, Captain.
McCoy, that you? There could be no delicate McGurgle that kept Spot Zanes alive. Carl, thank you, Doctor. They were aware that that was very gracious, McCoy. Yes, from the very first. I appreciate your ability. Carl, Carl, Captain Kirk? And you also appreciate that without the teacher, not have the knowledge to use that will, which you have thoughtfully provided. She points a phase at him. Scott, that phase is set to kill. Scarra, so it is. And the knowledge you have brought me. Do not move. If your work weapon kills, it will kill you, Kirk. We're not the first to bring you knowledge of killing. If you continue, you'll kill, you'll kill Spock. Carl, the control will die. Carl will live for 10,000 years. We shall give him... All our devotion. Cut, her up, cut, but Spock will be dead. Your body's dying this minute. Cut, what do you not? why do you not stand the need for my people? The control is greater than your need for your friend. Cut, no one may kill a man, not for any purpose. If it cannot be condoned, you reach for the visa. Cut, I do not, I do not, I do not know killing. I do not wish to kill, Scott groans. Fates distracting her, so Kirk can grab a phaser. Kirk, the comp- commandment must be fulfilled. Kirk, you must help us. What? Well, when you came to the ship, you had knowledge, yet when you came back, you didn't. Kirk, correct. Kirk, how long, not long does the knowledge last? Kirk, three of your hours, McCoy. Must be lo- it might, would be just enough time. Kirk, if I had that knowledge, would you restore what you've taken? Kirk, I would not. Kirk, I, will, I must help us. You must restore with that knowledge. Will you take... You must restore with that knowledge. What are you taking, Kara? No. Kirk, you must put back what you have taken, Kara. I will not betray my people. The control will stay. McCoy, Jim has worked for her. It might work for me. But if she's an alien, the configuration of the brain is different. It will cause irreparable damage to your human brain, Doctor. McCoy, I'm a surgeon already. If I can learn the techniques, I might be able to retrain them. But, Captain, you might lose the Doctor that way. McCoy, you might. But he'll be sure to lose you if you don't try. Spock, I cannot allow you to jeopardise your life for me. Okay, Spock, didn't you hear... I might be able to retain your and bring these techniques to the world, Jim. Is it worth that risk? Would you insist upon taking such a risk yourself? Kirk, go ahead, Doctor. Put the teacher on. Kara, no. McCoy goes over the device. Kirk will adjust it to his head. McCoy winces the pain and the knowledge. He's fed in his brain. He fails to his knees. McCoy, of course, of course. A child could do it. A child could do it. Captain Long, star date 5432.7. Don't recall you've seen him restore Spock's brain. A problem? We don't know how long his increased surgical knowledge will stay with him. Any additional attempt to use a teaching device is impossible. It may kill our my t- medical officer. Control room. The top of Spock's head is concealed by a wall where McCoy is working behind. Which McCoy is working behind Scott. I never seen anything like it. He's operated at warp speed. I'd like to try that teacher myself, Kara. You will not have him back. He will. We will be destroyed, Kirk. No, you won't be destroyed. You'll be without you, your controller, for the first time. But you'll be much better off, I think. Kara, we will die, Kirk. No, you'll live. But develop as you should have. All this should have been done for you. Now the women here below and the men above. Here, here, and the men here above will control together. Kara, they will not help us without the pain. Kirk, there are other wages to discover them. You might move to the surface, you understand. Kara, we do not, we will die above in the cold. Kirk, no, you wouldn't. You learn to build houses to keep warm to work. We'll help you with, for a while. Humans have survived under worse vision, conditions than that of evolution. You'll be fine. The coy is starting to pause and think, Kirk. Got Captain Kirk. Kirk, what is it? God is forgetting. McCoy, can't. Kirk, bones, bones. McCoy, all the glandular nerves. A million of them. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Kirk, bones. You can't stop now. McCoy, I'm trying to thread a needle with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. What am I supposed to do? I can't remember. I can't remember. Don't remember. Kirk, bones. McCoy, no one can restore a brain. Kirk, you could. A while ago. Child play. Catch a log supplemental. 
A race against time saves got right life may prove futile. Tom McCoy's lost his surgical experience knowledge, he trained as a teacher. He had been drawing on his own skills and surgical techniques in the attempt to continue the operation with floor training. And uncertain, a desperate hope that he can draw on his box train for assistance, and instruct Dr. McCoy to give a variety to connecting box vocal calls. Control room. Kirk, well, McCoy, he's dying. Can't stop it. Box calls. Yes, Dr. McCoy? McCoy, it's box, box. If you finish with reconnecting my speech centre, I might be able to help. McCoy speech centre? Spot. Yes, that's correct. One th- thing at a time. Ah, oh, no more voice stacked better. Now, Doctor, try the sonic separator. McCoy sonic separator? Spot. Yes, I believe I already have sensation of feeling. Please stimulate the nerve ending and observe the physical reactions one by one. In each case, I shall tell you the probe is correct. When you, will you then seal using the tri-sealer connector? Laser connector? McCoy, try laser connector? Ready. Spot ready. McCoy, right full finger? Spot twitching. Right, correct. McCoy, right wrist? Spot correct. McCoy, well, we are both? Spot correct. This is very good, Dr. McCoy. I never live this down. The voice falcon is telling me how to operate. Later, McCoy closed. Kirk, well? McCoy, how do I know? I could have made a thousand mistakes. No nerve endings. Joining Gadalia, the fluid balance is correct, but I don't know. Scott walks bits, sits up and stretches. Walk. Congratulations, Doctor, and thank you. Kirk, how do you feel, Spock? Oh, and the whole captain, I believe I'm quite fit. Fascinating. Mark was on for Red Rogue Civilization. A peak with advanced beyond any of our capabilities. Now operating at its primitive level, we saw, which we saw. All began thousands of years ago when a glacial age occurred. It occurred this underground complex was developed. The women, men remained above. A male female school system took place. A fascinating cultural development. A kind never, which would never. Fascinating cultural development of a, a kind which never. McCoy, I know it. I knew it was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. Kirk, what's that? McCoy, I should have never reconnected with his mouth. A slanted eyebrow hits the ceiling. Kirk. Well, we took the risk, Doctor. Kurt Spock to Cara, an arid laughter. As I was saying, a fascinating cultural development, the kind which had been seen in ages. Last such occurrence took place in the old earth. Romans were warring with the 